A cash clash, first known as Occupy Wall Street, spreading across the country. Protesters now camped out in the movement's birthplace, Lower Manhattan, for an entire month. Things getting rough in Seattle, where police removed protesters by force from a park. Officers also knocking down tents and making some arrests there. The protests now reaching South Florida. Dozens camped out in downtown Miami for days, hoping lawmakers get their message. And that's where we find Seven's Robin Simmons. She's live downtown with the tales. Robin? Well, they say they are going to be out here trying to get that message across as long as they need to. You can see there's a little bit of a meeting going on here now, trying to stay out of the elements. So far, no problems. Bean bag and some mats and a bunch of food too. So people have been doing that all day. It's really good to see the generosity of the sparks in people's hearts. Donations trickling in at the tent city that sprung up here in downtown Miami. Miami-Dade police keeping watch at the southwest corner of the Stephen P. Clark Center. It's now home sweet home for those who've joined the so-called Occupy movement. I spent the last two nights here in the rain. We are in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street and all the Occupy Together movements. We are, there are over 1,500 cities around the world and there's hundreds of thousands of people participating. Uh, the message is the same, that uh, corporations and banks have too much power over our lives. Occupy Wall Street, now one month old. It started as a statement against corporate greed, bank bailouts, and the influence Wall Street holds over policies in Washington, D.C. From the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale to a march in Miami, South Floridians taking part in the now global movement all weekend. Democratic National Committee Chair in South Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz says the frustrations have reached a boiling point. The middle class and working families need a fair shake, and I think the Occupy Wall Street uh, protests are reflective of the fact that they have not gotten a fair shake. Critics say the movement has no clear message, no clear goal. But occupiers say a major goal has already been met, getting the conversation started. I think it's great that the message is finally going out that the majority of us really are suffering through this economic crisis and the policies that the top 1% have been putting out. And I counted about 28 tents out here. Again, the people say they are going to stay out here as long as they need to, even though they don't have a permit. Now, I spoke with someone from the Internal Services Department with the county, and he says those people's First Amendment rights are going to be protected. They have no intentions of moving anyone out. But as you saw, there is some caution tape that's gone up to try to contain people from parking in specific areas. For now, live in downtown Miami, Robin Simmons, 7 News.